क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू फिजिकल मटीरियल्स कैन बी क्लासीफाइड बाई हाउ मच लाइट पैसेज थ्रू दैम क्लियर ग्लास विच इज क्लासीफाइड एज ट्रांसपेरेंट अलाउज ऑल और ऑलमोस्ट ऑल लाइट टू पैस ब्लैंक वैक्स पेपर विच इज क्लासीफाइड एज ट्रांसलूसेंट अलाउज ओनली सम लाइट टू पैस थ्रू विच चॉइस कंप्लीट द टेक्सट सो दैट इट कन्फर्म्स टू द कन्वेंशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश सो ए हैज अ कॉमा आफ्टर थ्रू बी हैज नो पंचुएशन आफ्टर थ्रू सी हैज a semicolon and d has through and so which should we choose so if you said c well done that is the best answer choice c is the best answer the convention being tested is the coordination of main clauses within a sentence the choice uses a semicolon in a conventional way to join the first main clause the first main clause is from clear glass and we fill it with through then we are talking about wax paper so that comes in the next clause and the second main clause which starts from wax paper and again the last word over there is through so that's why a b and d they are not correct a is incorrect because it results in a comma splice without a conjunction following it a comma can't be used this way to join two main clauses B is incorrect because it results in a run on sentence. The two main clauses clear to through and wax to through are fused without punctuation and or a conjunction. Furthermore it results in a confusing and illogical sentence that suggests clear glass allows light to pass through wax paper which doesn't make sense in this context. And choice D is incorrect because when coordinating two longer main clauses such as these it's conventional to use a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Thank you.